thirty dollars. Great finds today. I've got some old things versus some newer things, which are worth the most. Are they old video games? Are they old coins made of silver? Or are they this cool looking thing? Well, what is this? This is a Chartola Grand. It's an auto harp. Look at all these strings. And this is how you tune it. It probably take days and days. This is probably about 100 years old. It probably take you that long to tune this thing. This will do the strings here. We've got all kinds of things. Who plays the auto harp? Not a lot of people. Now, there is some, some songs that you may know or may have heard of some artists like Johnny Cash. He played the auto harp, but he learned that from the Carter family at the Grand Ole Opry. This is more of a instrument. It's an older instrument. It's called an auto harp. It's there's it's it's zither like, but this particular one was patented about 1882. This probably dates probably from the at least a hundred years old, and it's from the Chartola company. It's a Chartola Grand, and it costs thirty dollars. A hundred thirty dollars a hundred years ago was a lot more than thirty dollars a day. You know how much gas you could get for thirty dollars back then? You could probably buy it for the whole neighborhood. Now this is very cool. Still got the stickers on it. You can see the different keys and how you would play this. There's your sharps. There is a patent applied for, so it's great. And of course we have the eagle, the American eagle there. It's kind of hard to see, but the emblem is still there. It's the United States of America. There would be probably 13 stars on that emblem. And this is just a cool piece. It's probably impossible to play, probably hard to get lessons. And you can see there's even a serial number on the back. So this instrument, it, it is hard to play. It's cool. It actually looks pretty nice just sitting there. Is this worth the most? Now we talk about old versus quiet. Old versus new. Now I got all these in. These are coins and these are all these are all silver coins. Silver coins. Now silver coins back from 1964 and before, not the nickels, not the pennies, but everything else are going to be 90% silver. 90% silver. So right now today's prices, these are worth about 20 times face. This is a Morgan dollar. Yes, a Morgan dollar and this I, it was worth a dollar. If you took it to the bank, you'd still get a dollar. But this is worth $20. $20 for $1. Which would you rather have? And most of these are all going to be Roosevelt Dimes. The Roosevelt Dimes. There is one Mercury Dime there. You can see Mercury. We didn't get Roosevelt on there until after he passed away. Because, as you know, you have to be dead to be on our currency. So we also have quarters. We didn't get any Barber quarters or any walking liberties. We just got a bunch of... Um, Actually, 90% silver. And see, see on the side there, there's all going to be silver. There is our first president, George Washington. He was not alive in 1962. That's how you know he's on there. There is one exception to the 64, and that would be the Kennedy half dollar. The Kennedy half dollar from 65 to 70 are going to be 40% silver. And that's a heavy piece. So it's still 40% silver, still pretty big. So this is a bunch of silver. A bunch of silver. We've we've probably gotten face value on twenty dollars worth of silver. How much do you think that's worth? So we've got twenty dollars worth of silver there, and we've got just a couple of video games. This is just a little GBA game. Who cares? It's Harvest Moon. It's it's a different one. It's mi the Mineral Friends one. This is a Game Boy Advance. Oh, there it is. It's a game, but they're very durable. A Game Boy Advance game. And the Harvest Moon series is very good, but this is a kind of a little more rare than the other ones. All right, now the last thing we got in today, this is a Super Nintendo. This is a Junior, meaning it's smaller, just like Juniors are smaller. See, it's still Nintendo, it's Super Nintendo. There's not much to this, it's just a smaller box. It plays all the Super Nintendo games. This one is in really, really shiny, nice, good shape. Nice thing about the Mini with this one, it still does have the AV, which you don't get in the Mini for the NES. And there is, of course, the impossible to find power cord for these. Now, which is these are going to be worth the most? Is it going to be the old thing about 100 years old that used to cost $30? Would you have made money if you paid $30 on that? Would you have made money on this or on these? Out of all these, out of all these, this this surprisingly is probably pretty close to the bottom. But close to the bottom, this little piece of plastic, 
This is selling right now on Amazon for about $40. $40 for this little tiny game. Um, so it's it's a cool game. It's You can take these apart with a tri screw and, and get these to go. But any video games are super, super hot. Now, this is a Super Nintendo Junior Mini. Is that worth more than this? Now, individually, individually, these are going to be worth about 20 times face. So that's probably worth uh, 20 times. It's about $5. So $5 there, $5. We've got a lot of... We do have some good amount of money here. Um, probably around $200 worth of stuff here. But individually, you know, you would look for key dates. There's not a lot of key dates in a lot of the 50 cent pieces or some of the Roosevelt dimes. You really have to look for them. But just as a silver alone, it's going to be about $200. So silver is always going to be worth more. But is it worth more than this? Or is this? So we know that this is going to be worth the most. So is this is, this is old versus new. Super Nintendo Junior or this cool, very cool, and all kinds of buttons nearly impossible to play very easy to play it's not even close this by itself is worth about twice the amount that this thing is it doesn't make sense there's not a lot of actually a lot of comps on this so you you don't really know it is in good shape they, they are all over the place but the the last two that sold so for like 40 bucks 40 bucks for these um, now, I have seen some of them sell higher, so I don't know what the market is. That's when you get a piece like this. If you want a price for it, put the price you want on it and wait till you get it. Because someone will eventually get it. If To take all these strings would be... The strings would probably cost you $1,000. But they're very cool. You can see the tuning fork. You would tune these and play each one. And I don't even know what this is. But it's awesome. Sounds good. Anyone can play. It's got the instructions right here. Now, this here, this is the junior. This is not like the original. The original still goes for much. Just this, just the box. The box. Nothing else. No power cords. Nothing else. It sells for about $75. $75 to $80. $80 in something in this shape I would get $80 for. If you have, I do have everything else to it. Uh, we're talking close to $100. $100 for this piece of plastic. You know, $40 for that piece of plastic silver 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 always good that's why they don't make money out of silver anymore because it's worth more than it costs to make so this is cool this is something you may want to wait up for this you can have fun you can entertain the folks you can entertain yourself and you can buy anything you want for anyone if you have enough of these thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe if you see something i messed up on or you have more information on this cool 30 dollar item let me know